Big Nine of high school sports in our community. The News 8 Highlight Zone starts now. Good evening, I'm Greg Wavernick. And I'm Charlie Clifford. Wet and sloppy conditions this evening, what some call great football. Winners. Oh yes, week two representing for many the final non-conference game of the season. It's Logan looking to head into the MVC schedule with a 2-0 record as they travel north to face Eau Claire North. This one would start out very fast. First play from scrimmage. North's Adam LaRoque with the handoff to Nick Greenland. He goes all the way 79 yards for the touchdown to go up 6-0. Logan answers right back. Trey Davis is passed to Jack Hinton. Good for TD. Rangers now with a 14-13 lead. North not giving up anytime soon. Next drive, LaRoque back to pass, connecting with Lucas Lanners. He breaks free and mm. goes all the way for the score. North back on top. Back and forth we go. Second half now, Logan down a score until the handoff to Manny Buchanan. He sweeps his way into the end zone, Boom. but it's Eau Claire North who lands the final punch in this back and forth slugfest. 53-43 the final. Holman looking to rebound after last week's loss to Chippewa Falls hosting Platteville. Vikings ball second quarter. Play action, Connor Duncan, 54 yards in stride to Aaron Smolik. Holman up 14-0. Hillman returned the ensuing kickoff for a touchdown. No worries, Vikings getting the points right back. Kyle Cable, 14 yards, reaches for the pylon, touchdown. Duncan now doing it with his legs, keeps it on the option. 34 yard touchdown run, Holman up 28 to seven at the half. Third quarter, number 40, Seth Holden, 40 yard touchdown run for Holman. Holman rolls to a 42-14 victory. An old rivalry gets renewed this evening. That's right, West Salem GET, longtime Cooley Conference foes. They didn't meet up last season after the Panthers made the switch to the MVC. All is normal again in the world of local high school football. West Salem hosting this one. Second quarter, 14-0 Panthers, Red Hawks on move. Check out Gavin Olson, balls loose. Alex Jernek on the recovery. And that sets up Tim Schaaf in the offense. Schaaf, Keeping GET off balance all evening. Crossing route here to Mark Harris. And he goes back to Harris later in the drive. A little Tom Brady to Wes Welker here, Greg. That's vintage. <laughs> 20 to nothing. Panthers, second half. GET good on one fourth down try. But they're stuffed team. Stuffed here. Braxton Gelfi, stand him up. Panthers bounce back after a tough week one. A total of three MVC versus Cooley matchups tonight. Another as Sparta at Westby, third quarter, Westby, Shane Grant, the quarterback keeper up the middle, four yard touchdown, Norseman up 19 to seven. Third quarter, Sparta needing some help, and they get some from the rain. Monk punt, Jarrett Sullivan recovers. They're unable to capitalize though, fourth quarter, more Westby. This time, the end around, Jamie Oliver, all the way the distance, far sideline. Tough 20. to turn directions in that stuff. Yeah, exactly. 25-7 there, the final. Westby 25, Sparta 14. Eight o'clock tip kickoff between Black River Falls and Toma. This one just going final. BRF with a touchdown to start the fourth quarter, and they win it 20 to 14. Well, let's head out to central Wisconsin on Alaska at Mosini. A rematch of level one playoffs last year. Mosini won that one 28-26. Mosini driving, second quarter. Good old drop the snap on the ground and pick it up and <laughs> score. Landon Steppen makes it 16-0. Later on, on Alaska's Austin Manglitz gets the sack. Keeps it a 16-point game at the half. Their defense takes over. Hilltoppers rally in the second half, but lose this one by mm. four points, 16-12. Old Wissa foes, Aquinas travels to take on Pacelli. Aquinas and Pacelli territory threatening. Tyler Young. Got this complete one to Connor Haig. There's a play. Makes one guy Woo. miss and takes it all the way inside the 10 yard line. Sets up this a couple plays later. Haig gonna get the carry out of the backfield and goes up the middle for an easy six points. Aquinas 2 0 to start the year. They win tonight 20 to 13. Arcadia with their home opener this evening. Raiders open up as the number two ranked team in the state in Division 5 in this week's WISSports.net poll. Arcadia happy. For that turf on a night like this, hosting Whitehall second quarter, up 28-0. Brody back, the pitch on the outside, 10 yards in, 35 zip Raiders later in the quarter. Arcadia's defense making plays. Jim Hesley forcing the fumble, check out this hit. Scoops it and scores it. 
42-0 at the half. Third quarter, Jacob Slabby pounds it in one yard out. 56-0 Raiders are 2-0. Another Cooley versus Darylin game. Varroka hosting Melrose Mindoro. First quarter action, Melman's Eric Christofferson takes the handoff up the middle. You can do it all. 25 yards for the score as they lead 8-0. Still in the first, Melman strikes again. Evan Peterson takes the pitch and goes three yards. No final reported in this one this evening when we left there in the second quarter. It was Melrose Mindoro with a 14 to nothing lead. Two teams searching for their first win of the season. Cashton playing host to Luther second quarter nights. Trailing by a score, Jeremy Flugey finds Daniel Walsh across the middle, 14 yards. That puts him up one. Eagles though, answer on the ensuing drive, Noah Flock going to call his own number from a yard out. The final of the night, Cashin 44, Luther 14. Well, when we return, highlights of Caledonia, as well as the number one and number five ranked teams in Division 7. Caledonia hoping that historical trends stay the same this evening when taking on St. Charles. Over the past decade, Warriors have beaten the Saints by an average of 48 points per game. First quarter, Warriors already up 6-0, and they're looking for more. Owen King hitting Tanner Grand for the score. It's 14-zip. Saints looking to rally their offense, but the ball knocked out of the QB's hand. Warriors D, change of possession, and on the ensuing drive, Caledonia Sam Stemper takes the handoff, and he takes off. 16 yards for the score. One of four on the night for the senior. Caledonia rolls once again, 57-20 the final. The Crescent taking on Cass and Manorville for their home opener. It was a wet one over there. KM first drive of the game. Fumbling it on the pitch. Lancers take advantage. Tanner Duffy there for the recovery. And the Crescent rewards Duffy on the offensive side of the ball. Takes the hand up 30 yards for the touchdown. And the Crescent, a winner tonight in the rain, 21-13. Some nine-man football. Houston takes on Lyle to Chelly Hurricanes. Winning the past four meetings with an average score of 16-4-8. Third quarter, the Athletics down by eight. Looking to move the ball, but Brady, Lester's pass picked off by Houston's Jeremiah Johnson. That's a big play later in the game. The Hurricanes defense stepping up again. A bad snap. Lyle Pacelli, this one gets worse. Check it out. Hurricanes, a huge stop here. And the final, Houston takes it 20 to 12. Let's get you more Minnesota scores. Spring Grove dominant tonight, 42-16. Mabel Canton over Lanesboro. Winona 2-0 for the first time since 2010. Pine Island throttles Cotter. And Fillmore Central shuts out Rushford Peterson. Back over to Wisconsin. Pepin Alma minted as the number one team in Division 7 in the Wisports.net coaches poll. Indy Gilmanton. Going for a little upset tonight. First quarter, Pepin Alma looking to get on the board. Lance Johnson punches this one in from 10 yards out. Eagles strike first. Later in the quarter, Johnson again. This time following a wall of blockers. Takes it all the way for a score. Eagles up 14-0. Pepin Alma up off to a 2-0 start to their season. 53-21 the final. Bangor ranked five in the state. First home game hosting Blair Taylor. Cardinals up 7-0 first quarter. Kellen Kravick on the punt return. Check out these moves, Greg. I mean, Kravick, he must have flew through oh, swim oh. lessons as a kid because water's no issue tonight. Oh. 66 yards. Like a little head move there. Right? On the take back, 14-0 Bangor. Next drive, Kravick with the keeper out to the left. And our stats people say two plays, 106 all-purpose yards and two touchdowns for number two. That's efficient is what we call that. Bangor big over Bear Blair Taylor tonight. Brookwood looking to build off on the momentum of last week's win at DeSoto. They host Riverdale. Opening quarter, Eagles on the attack. Corey Odom finds Pater six yards out, 7-0 to score. And later in the first, more Brookwood. Matthew Hansen, a strike to Sawyer Ellsworth. Off to the races, no one's catching him. 65 for the score, the final. Brookwood 35, Riverdale 6. Strong start to Brookwood season. North Crawford at Port Edwards. Port Edwards in Gibbs, airing it out to Ethan Saylor. He makes a nice catch and goes in for the touchdown. Port Edwards defeats North Crawford by a final of 42 to nothing. Wazika Steuben, Seneca also losing. Let's go to those scores. Wall River 
defeats them 20 to 6. More scores from Wisconsin tonight. Hillsboro shutting out Kickapoo Lafarge. New Lisbon a 6 0 winner over Waniwak Center. Nesita defeating CFC. Royal beats Lincoln 38 22. DeSoto, nice bounce back win for them tonight. 37 0 their final. Ithaca, 42 7 winner. Prairie Desheen gets postponed to tomorrow. And Boston gets shut out on the road. Time for another timeout. More Highlight Zone when we return.